of have two front doors and we use this one which leads to the foyer but we would love to welcome guests at this door. I was hoping you could make it more attractive. Really good. What you got in mind? I was hoping we could paint it maybe black. I think black is look good. Black shutters, black doors. Nice. Awesome. My one concern is that it's metal so I'm, I don't want to mess it up. I can definitely help you out with that. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lorelai, you said that you want black for your front door. Yes. Which black do you like? Black. Okay, just like any other color, there are different shades. I'm going to show you four colors here. If you're looking on their own, they look black. But when you compare them, there's differences. Oh, yeah. So we have like red undertone, light gray, green, or dark blue. Which one do you think you would like? Well... Well, let me get it this close to your door. Okay. So you can have a better idea. So, what do you think? Ooh, I like the top right. This one here? Yeah. Okay, let's remove the door off hinges so it's much easier to paint the door on a horizontal surface. Okay. With the door on the sawhorses, we can remove the hardware. Second one. Well, door comes prime from the manufacturer. We're going to lightly sand with the 400 grit sandpaper. That's it? It's not very rough. Exactly. We don't want to put any scratch on this door. Okay. All right. We want to get all the dust off with the HEPA vac and the brush attachment. And then we'll wipe it down with a wet rag. Okay, our door is ready for paint. Um, metal is different from wooden. Wooden door has pore and it helps to absorb some of the paint. If we use a regular latex paint on metal, the paint is just going to sit on the surface and it's going to get damaged the first rainstorm. For this metal door, we're going to use DTM or direct to metal paint and a specific design to adhere to metal. I'm going to pour some of this paint and we're going to start to do the work. Okay, we're going to dip in the brush just a little bit that's good enough. So we're going to start by painting. Well, we're going to start by cutting with the angle brush around the paints. Just like that. So, Laurel, you got the idea? You want to try it? Sure. All right, let me get you this paint here to you. You can start this molding, and I'll keep going on this one here. That's good. Just dab the brush a little bit. Yep, sounds good. We want to keep the paint just inside the panels. We do not want to put a lot of paint on the styles and rails. That looks good, Lorelai. Yeah, see? Thank you. Nice. This looks a little watery. Exactly. It's a water-based paint, but it's spread nice and smooth. It just looks like a, an oil-based finish. We're going to switch to a foam roller. That is going to minimize the brush stroke marks. Try to cover all the areas on your first stroke, all right? So that long strokes, long strokes. Don't put a lot of pressure, just like a medium pressure on it, all right? It's been two hours, it's really dry. It's time for to put the second coat on. Once the second coat is dry, we'll reattach the hardware and hang the door back. All right, what do you think? It looks terrific, I love it. Okay, let me tell you one thing. Door is completely open to the elements. A darker color like this will fade faster than a lighter color. You should be looking out to paint this door again between the three to five years. I can do that now. Thank you so much, Mauro. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.